Hey YouTube, it's me, Larita. Hey, I'm coming to you all tonight with a video on some of my vintage handbags. So that's what this video is going to be about. So if you want to hear about my latest additions to my John Romain collection, stay tuned, okay? I fell in love with John Romain and, and it was not hard for me to love John Romain. The details in, the, uh, the details in these bags, outstanding. And for them to last this long, remarkable. I want to start off by uh, talking about this bag that I purchased. This bag right here, she has four feet at the bottom. She's a very small little dainty bag, leather on the side, and tweed on the body. The little medallion that's on the front of this bag, she looks like this. She has a kiss lock turn at the top, and this is what the inside looks like. She's leather on the inside with a one slip pocket. Now, I know that John Romain has a dating system in there, but in this bag, it's just, let's see, if I could see correctly, I will insert a picture, but... Uh, But uh, it does read two, hold up, two of 69. That means this bag was made in February of 1969. This bag is older than I am. <laughs> so this is what she looks like. I purchased this bag from eBay and she was only $10. The shipping on the bag was seven or $8. So total less than $20 for this bag. She's in beautiful condition. I didn't have to do anything but put a little leather lotion on the side of her and the, the handles, but she's excellent. And I love to carry her. She doesn't hold a lot. My cell phone, my keys, my mirror, my lipstick, you know, just the little essentials that a diva needs when she's out on the town. This next bag that I want to show you is my one and only complete all leather bag that I have in my John Romain collection. This bag is entirely covered in leather inside and out. The bottom, she has five feet. She's a very um, structured bag and she stands well on her own. I forgot to mention that the first bag that I showed you, showed you, she can stand on her own as well with her four feet. This one has five, love this bag. They're not very big, but they hold what I need to hold. This is what the clasp looks like on the front of the bag. You would just turn it to get into her. And on the inside, on the inside, the back, she looks like this. All leather. And she just has a slip pocket on the back and a snap right here. This bag has all little brass ta tacks all over it. I did purchase a John Romain bag um, about a year or two ago and it came with extra tacks and the, the package read you might not ever need to change it out but in case you do here's some extra tacks. Thank God because this one was missing a tack right here and I just replaced it with that one. I don't see any dating system in this one but I'm going to continue to hunt for it. I haven't carried this one yet but this will go on a few of my adventures. This bag too was under $20 but I offered $18 and got it and it was free shipping. So $18 bucks for all leather bag from the 50s, 60s. The next bag that I want to show you in my collection, this is my one and only straw bag in my collection and this is what the medallion looks like on the front. Now I don't have a lot of bags with this type of medallion on the front. My first John Romain bag has a placard on the inside. And when I featured that bag in a video, I had um, several people emailing me, inboxing me about purchasing the bag because of the placard. I'm not interested in, interested in um, selling any of my John Romain bags because, because it is one of those bags that for a bag to be made in the 50s and 60s, and can still be this beautiful in 2018. Look at this. There's no damage to the straws anywhere. And look at the bottom. 
She's five feet at the bottom, another sturdy bag. I carried this bag this summer. Now this bag uh, is my second highest bag. Um, I purchased one John Romaine bag that I paid $25 for. With the shipping and um, taxes and everything, that bag came out to be $32, $33. That was my most expensive bag. This is the second most expensive bag. With the shipping and everything, this bag was $28. So, yeah, y'all know I don't want to spend a lot of money because I, I, the diva, <laughs> I bought on a budget. Okay? And so, anyway, this is the only straw bag that I have, but I love it. Uh, she has a zipper on the side. She's a zip around bag. So, you would, would say this is the John Romaine's version of the zip zip in a straw. She has tacks all around her and leather. All around. This front part right here. I thought that was wood, but I think this is leather as well. Everything is in place. And as a matter of fact, when I received this bag, uh, she had a bonus. It had like a uh, dollar in change in here. So I got a tip. <laughs> so this is what she looks like on the inside. Beautiful bag. She has her gussets are made of leather as well. Look at that. Beautiful bag. And this bag has a slip in the back and a zip. Uh, I don't see any dating system in this one as well. So I don't really know how old she is, but I know she is an older, um, a mature diva. And I love carrying this bag in the summertime. Uh, I got a lot of compliments on this bag. And, I, and this, is, this is the reason why I'm not interested in selling. I don't sell any of my bags. I'll give them away before I sell them. And listen, even to give them away is hard. It's extremely hard to give them away. This... I can't even explain it. So anyway, this is the only straw bag that I have in my collection. I'm going to dig as deep as I can for the bags that do not come with a dating system to find out just how old they are. Now, this last bag is my mo most recent purchase of a John Romain bag. I've said in the past, this is my last John Romain bag. I think that was four bags later. In total, in my entire collection, I... I think I have eight bags all together and I carry them and it is a struggle and a fight with my daughter Kaylin when she comes to visit I don't know why she thinks she's entitled to my bags but I need to start locking up my closet I think I'm going to put my closet under lock and key because that child y'all don't know the struggle is real with Kaylin when she's taking my bags it's, it's, it's really real mm. Anyway, I wonder if that Moses law still applies when they are grown. Can I send her back to the hospital? If she keep taking my handbags, she going to get put up for adoption. Okay? Anyway, this is the latest bag that I have uh, added to my John Romaine collection. This bag is my only John Romaine bag that's in all these different colors. Uh, red, white, and blue. She has five feet at the bottom. This bag is in excellent condition. Now, when I received her, she was missing three tacks in the front and two tacks in the back. Now, the bag that I purchased that came with extra tacks, it was extremely handy for me to have those extra tacks. This bag is in pristine condition. Look at the side of this bag. Whomever she was that had this bag, she did not carry it as much. The lock in the front looks like this. I have another bag with the same twist uh, lock in the front. Let's see if you can see what is on. Because I noticed sometimes they have like the scales of justice on some of these medallions um, or the locks on the front. So let's see if we can tell what's on the front of this one. I'll try to take a picture of it and insert the picture as well. Of this bag she looks like this y'all 
whomever had this bag, she probably let kids play with it because the tacks are missing. But it's like she never carried it. Um, no dating system in this one either. But this one also has um, an extra name on it. I believe it's the name of the person who took over the company in the 80s and the 90s. So even if this bag was made in the 80s and the 90s, they still didn't carry it. Look at this bag. Aside the fact that it was missing some tacks, that was the only thing that was wrong with it. But as luck would have it, I was able to replace those tacks. This bag is in perfect condition. I paid for this bag. $20. $20. And this is the, the best bag in my opinion, in my collection. Now, the leather, the color is so rich. I'm on the hunt for John Romaine bags in different colors. I'm just, I'm hooked. Okay, so that's it for the collection for now until I find another fantastic John Romaine bag. I'm not gonna say when I'm gonna stop collecting because these bags, the fact that they have stood the test of time from the 50s, that is a wise investment. And I would say to anybody, if you find one, don't hesitate. If she's in good condition and she's your style of a bag, grab it. Don't just get it because it's John Romaine and it might be worth some money. Get it because you like it. Um, these bags are very, they're very detail oriented. The, the structure is excellent. It is a classy, classy bag. And y'all know I love, I love a classy bag, honey. Yes, I can't, I can't be a diva without a classy a handbag or a pocketbook and whatnot, you know? So if you love it, it's your style, it's your thing. Don't get it because it's just, it's, it's John Romaine. Get it because say, hey, I could rock this bag. Rocking a bag is everything. So I say rock it well, baby. Get it. You live one time. Don't have any regrets. I, I don't plan on having any. When I leave here, I want to be fully satisfied and ready to go. You know? Okay, so I just got this in the mail. It was a John Romain bag that I ordered off of Poshmark. I bid it, uh, well, I offered $15, and she accepted it. So this is my uh, second all leather. I haven't even cleaned it up. I just took it out of the pack. It has some type of water stains on it. I haven't even attempted to clean it up yet, y'all. But I've already shot my video for my John Romain bag. But I wanted to come and let y'all see my very own, my one and only clutch John Romain bag. So she has five feet at the bottom. I'm not sure what this is that's on it or if I can even get these water stains off. But 15 bucks, I'm going to try. Has this beautiful medallion for um, uh, the, the front of the bag opens like this it has pebbled leather at the top leather on the inside suede on the sides of the gusset there's no dating system on the inside of the bag do I think the one hand is amazing uh, if I didn't have her on the soft surface you would see that she can stand on her own on this John Romaine bag I was taking pictures of the inside of the bag and I noticed the, the buttons on the inside of the bag they all have that press on it uh, John Romaine's signature quest pressed I guess no dating system in this one either but at the bottom of the bag on the buttons the same thing all of the buttons has the John Romaine pressed on it those this bag i believe it to be rarer than i anticipated at first still doing my research on this bag but it's a lovely bag yes she's a beauty i love a classic classy bag <laughs> i'm gonna go now i want to thank y'all for joining me on my channel tonight y'all could have been anywhere but you came by here to see what i was talking about and for that i thank you Yes, my girls, until next time, y'all be blessed.